South Central Update, brought to you by TaylorMade. Well, let's now welcome in two-time ANA Inspiration Champion who became a mum last year, Brittany Lincecum. Happy first Mother's Day, I have to say. First of all, how are you celebrating today? Thank you so much. It's so surreal. I can't even believe I'm a mom still. Uh, Miss Emery is 10 months old. We're just hanging out at the house. Uh, my husband's making one of my favorite meals. He's making a lasagna for me. Um, got me flowers and cards for memory. Um, it's just been a wonderful day and um, I have to pinch myself. She's so beautiful and it's just been such a blessing. She does look absolutely gorgeous. Well, tell me about your journey into motherhood because I understand that baby girl Emery surprised you with a little bit of an early entrance while you were traveling in another state. What happened? Yeah, um, it was my last golf event of the season. It was just a one day charity event for my favorite uh, charity event of the season and it was in rockford illinois and i literally was supposed to be there for about 24 hours fly in sunday night do the outing monday morning fly home and kind of felt a little weird that morning when i was getting on the plane but just first time mom had no idea what was happening long story short uh, about 2 a.m kind of was in full labor and my daughter luckily my husband got there just in the nick of time and uh we delivered a four pound 11 uh, four eleven uh Baby and she was perfectly healthy and uh, unfortunately had to stay in the NICU for almost five weeks but um, she's doing great now and it's such a blessing to have her and uh, we couldn't be more happy. She does look so happy and healthy now and you two the, the glowing parents obviously you took some time off last year but then you returned to professional golf what was it like returning uh, to the LPGA as a, as a tour mom now? Yeah, it was actually great. She came to both events with me because they were both in Florida and we could just drive. And it was great to get my feet wet a little bit, you know, uh, being able to drive to an event. I obviously packed way more than I needed. And uh, it was great to kind of see like what I really needed and what I really didn't. And um, just to have her out, my parents were with me. They're going to travel all year with me when we do get started again. And um, they had her out in the stroller watching all my rounds with me. And she didn't make a peep. She was such an angel. And um, it's definitely a different perspective. You know, when you're on the golf course and you have this beautiful baby. Um, you know, when you make a bogey or a bad shot, you know, it doesn't really matter as much uh, when you look over and see that beautiful little thing in the stroller. So um, I think that'll help me uh, through the season, you know, with my calming myself and not getting so angry on the golf course, just remembering that I have this beautiful angel to go home to. And uh, I think it'll make me play better, which would be great. It certainly does put things in perspective. Of course, things have changed drastically since you did uh, make your comeback at the beginning of this year and frustrating times, I'm sure, for you and for everyone uh, with what the world is going through right now. I know when you originally went back to playing professional golf, you didn't want to play more than two weeks in a row because of uh, being a mom. Will that have to change, do you think, now when play does resume, given the amount of time we've lost? I think it will. Um, I've been trying to look at the schedule and kind of... Uh, where I need to take a week off and then where I need to play more events. Obviously, if I'm playing, I'm just going to keep it rolling and play as many as possible. Um, it, but, you know, for me personally, I don't like playing more than two or three weeks in a row. Just mentally, I like to get home, you know, go fish a bit and just kind of sleep in my own bed. There's a lot to be said for sleeping in your own travel so much. But um, I think there's only three weeks, only two weeks off, and that's a lot. So um, you really got to pick and choose where you want to play. Obviously, the majors, you want to be at all those. and. Um, it'll be an interesting season for sure, but uh, definitely going to have to play more than two weeks, three weeks in a row, probably sometimes. Well, speaking of fishing, I know that is one of your favorite hobbies when you are home. Uh, you and your husband enjoy trips out on your boat. Has that been a, a better alternative than going to the grocery store recently? <laughs> it has, actually. Um, we've been making fish tacos. Um, his favorite fish, my husband's favorite fish to catch is triple tail, so we've been catching a lot of those. And um, I hear there's some tuna floating around out there that we uh, catch, but we haven't been successful yet. But um, it's just so great to get out on the water and um, just your phone doesn't work. It's just you in the water. You can see dolphins and stingrays and sharks. And uh, we had a manatee come up to our boat the other day after we got home from a long day and we fed him some fresh water. And uh, it's just a cool, just cool being on the water. I just love it so much. And um, but yes, you know, it's great not having to go to the grocery store to catch dinner. We can just kind of go out on the boat for a couple hours and catch dinner and come home. And uh, it's super fresh. And I actually bought a swing for Emery. It should be here any day. So we're going to start taking her on the water with us, which will be really fun. 
Oh, idyllic. The pictures look just fantastic. Before we let you go, just one last question about your health. I saw that you had a wrist cast on recently for a thumb injury. How are you doing? Is that recovered now? I actually saw a different doctor last week, uh, about a week ago, had some different answers, which are uh, making me feel a little bit more positive that I can actually uh, get back to playing here soon. I'm still just doing chipping and putting, kind of easing my way back into it. But, um, you know, when we start in July, you know, I'm, I'm going to be ready regardless. So um, my thumb just needs to get on board. <laughs> Uh, that's some good talking to it. Well, listen, thanks for taking the time to uh, talk to us today. Happy Mother's Day once again. Good luck with the rest of the season when it resumes, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you so much. Golf Central Update, brought to you by TaylorMade.